Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Court Farms with me, Siwari, in Farming Simulator 22. It is a brand new morning, ladies and gents. We are now in October, um, which means uh, I've got a contract to do today, because most of my field work is currently done. My grass has been mowed, my bales have been baled and wrapped, so... I've got a sewing contract for some linseed to go and do. Might not have been the best way to come out of here through the cow shed, but you never know. But first, what I'm going to do today is give a little bit of a tune up to some equipment because uh, I think this tractor needs a bit of repair. And then we'll go off and find the field that we've got to sow. Ground. Not worried about the weights. I'm not worried about the cultivator and the cedar. Maybe they're not too expensive. Right, so that's maintenance performed. Everything's fully fully in fully working order now. The only thing I don't do, as I've mentioned before, I don't tend to repaint stuff. Because uh, repainting vehicles and equipment is a very massive time sink, very massive cost sink, um, especially in the early part of the game where you don't have a lot of money. Um, I don't fancy doing that. I'll tell you what, that's a nice screenshot, I think. Um, we'll capture that. That'll be nice. A little video thumbnail. Right, we're going to let's just double check field 13. Whereabouts on the map is field 13? Uh, it's going to be over here somewhere. So. Hmm. How do I get to field 13? We'll go off and explore, shall we? Also, we're doing linseed, which is which crop? Oh, I can't. The little purple flowers. There we go. So I can do it with this lovely, lovely piece of equipment. But yeah, we've got the grass. I've got the grass done. Got quite a few bales, all nicely wrapped and moved. Um, so I'm looking forward to when they are fermented. So I can chuck those, uh, sell those, and get some much needed money coming in. Um, what's up, Poe? Matter. You've got your ball. Dog's brought me a ball, bless her. Do you want to play? Shh. Sweet. Quiet. Tell you what, she does look weird at the minute. She had her hair cut at the weekend, the dog did. And um, it's taking I have to keep doing a double take every time I see her because it looks like a different dog. Is there a way out? No. There's a gate there. So one thing I do love about these UK maps, it's a bit of a maze trying to find your way to the fields. Now, I don't think I'm going to fit through there. Am I? The answer to that is no. Um, right. Challenge then. How do I get 
field 13. Right, so it's going to be down here somewhere. Mm -mm. Right, so it's this field here we want to be on. Now we can come through here. Okay. That's one way in. Does mean going through the cornfield. Mm. Let's have a look. Is there a way in from this top side? Uh, well, there's a gate there. And obviously there's an entrance over here. And there's a gate. Is there a gate here? Anywhere? There's one here. Right. Okay. I can see a way in. We found a way to the field. To the field. And obviously, we'll be kind. We'll uh, shut the uh, farmer's gate. Right then. So up here. Turn left. Still quite tight, isn't it? I hope if the camera gave me a good view of the situation. Can I not get through there? Gotta go through here. Seriously, is that the best place in the world to park a cement mixer? I don't think so. Oh. oh.
No, we're not getting in there. We're not. Oh, now I've got the problem. How do I get back? Can't turn around. Oh, this is a frustrating nightmare of things. I need to be able to get out. That cement mixer's right in the way. Also, I actually do think that the gate is too small. Oh! Oh, I've done it! <laughs> we popped a wheelie and we made it. Right. Field 13 then. don't have access to this land. Pretty sure I do. Ignore it. I think it's because I've got the cultivator on. And cedar and power harrow. The main thing is we are seeding the right crop. You'll notice in the top left of the screen it says as well that there is no um, variable seed rate for this type of crop. So we, we just have the one seed rate. So we can't do low seed, medium seed or high seed. Um, it's just one standard rate for linseed. When it comes time to leave this field and return back to the farm, I might have to try a different route. Might have to try a different route, ladies and gents. But yeah, now my work is done until pretty much harvest time next year. We will have to do a little bit of fertilising um, on some of our fields and some of our crops that we've seeded, but hopefully that won't be too bad. Main thing is, we've got some crops seeded. So uh, really, we'll be looking at next winter when we start to takes jumps forward um, in the meantime I have installed a new mod today ladies and gents I don't know whether you already saw it as I was going through the menus but we have the return of the global company mod ladies and gents to FS22 
Now, the Global Company mod was a great mod in FS19 for PC players, as it enabled you to connect your game to any other player who was also running the Global Company mod in their saves, and basically give you access to a market where you can sell your products and your crops to actual real players and buy products and stuff from real players with prices that always changed and reflected the supply and demand so that adds a little bit more interest now to selling crops you're not just forced to sell crops at the time of the year that the crop calendar or the in-game sell points dictate you can actually sell your crops when actual other players need them okay so i've added and installed that mod today and we'll probably be using it throughout this series it's nice that the mod has come back because like i say i did use it in fs19 in my last several um let's plays of bomb sim 19 it is done a little bit differently this year in fs22 as there is a mod that you have to download from the in-game mod hub which gives you the global market but then you all to be able to actually connect with other players and transfer buy and sell props with other players you also need to download an, an executable which you can only get from the mod author's discord um, page discord group um, unfortunately giants do not give you the link to that on the mod hub mod description they just give you the name of the the mod author so you have to kind of search for and try and find the discord group uh, I did that and I warn everybody in advance the discord is in German language only so if like me you don't speak German or don't read and write German um, trying to find which channel you need to then click on to find where the executable is hosted to get the mod to run is quite difficult <laughs> um, fortunately for me I have two um, fellow farm sim players in my discord group who are German speakers uh, one is obviously a German native another one is a, a Dutch guy who lives in Belgium between those two they were able to point me in the right direction of the discord um, the discord group to find where I needed to download the executable that when you click it and run it actually gives you the connection to the server um, that makes um, the connection with all the other players so yeah it's, 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 it's like I say, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a slightly weird mod, Global. Last year with Global Company, um, who did the Global Market in all the Global Company stuff, again, there was an executable, there was a, like a, a program that you had to run to connect to the server that had all the Global Market information in thing, which obviously just keeps synchronizing in the background, just keeps updating and synchronizing in the background so that every time you go into the menu, You've got all the latest information on here um, and where you can sell your stuff and where you can buy it from. Okay. So, yeah, it'll be interesting looking at that a little bit later on when we actually do have stuff to sell. <laughs> but for now, though... October, November, we're just going to be doing contracts. Um, there are some ploughing contracts. There are some cultivating contracts. So, there'll be a mixture. There are harvest contracts, but they're not really paying a lot of money on this map. And I do feel, given the very nature and layout of the map, it might be a bit of a struggle for me to haul all my harvesting equipment all over the place. So, probably won't be doing a lot of harvesting contract. Unless they're located 
right close to the farm. Um, somewhere. There are, though, tons of baling contracts. So if you like your mowing and you like your baling, you can absolutely fill your boots with those <laughs> on this map. Um, because there is a ton of them. And I'm going to guess that's because a lot of the grass fields kind of act as, as you've just seen, having to drive through everywhere, do act as a um, kind of pathway and route to get through fields, a way of being able to transport equipment to fields. which don't actually have road and ac easy access. headlands and giving myself a little bit of space and I am using the John Deere today for the seeding for the sowing contract because it is my most powerful machine so yeah I get that message because I'm using the um, I'm using the cultivator um, I've got the power harrow attached to the seeder but the contract is still progressing chilled out day today monday the 21st of august as i'm recording this video um, mondays are now for the foreseeable future going to be my content creation days where i just sit down and spend all day recording videos for the youtube i'm not going to be doing any streams on a monday big streams or anything like that um we need to I need to have days where I can just absolutely blitz content but so today is Port Farms day I'm going to record a bunch of Port Farms episodes I might even switch over and do some Estancia Sao Carlos videos as well get those recorded later and then hopefully if I've got time this evening uh, I would very much like to get some football manager done as well this week because like I say have got um, a lot going on next weekend I've got the, 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 the hassle as well that there's a lot of football matches for me this week my local football team we've got a game tomorrow night on Tuesday we've got an away game next Saturday and then we've got a game on bank holiday Monday as well and couple that with the fact we've also got the um supporters club meeting next supporters club meeting as well that day on the monday which means i'm gonna have to be up the club from early mid morning so next monday i'm not gonna have much chance to record content <laughs> so yeah there's me saying mondays are now my content creation days but i lose a monday next week because of the bank holiday Which is why I want to get a little bit in front this week if I can. And uh, pick my times carefully. Um, the good thing is, I don't have my pulmonary rehab course anymore. So my Tuesday and Thursday afternoons are free again, currently. Um, which again gives me time to make some um, content and I've got to get on with the content making process now because we have YouTube channel memberships available on the channel ladies and gents 
So, people that want to support on YouTube that don't feel comfortable coming over to it and supporting me there on that platform and or don't want to watch my live streams, um, you can now support me here on YouTube. There are currently three tiers of membership available, each offering you slightly different perks depending on how much you're willing and happy to sort of donate and support. Um, but yeah, it's something that I'm, I'm going to be exploring as we go forward, because obviously it's a whole new concept for me, YouTube membership. Never had that before on the channel. Um, I've got one member so far, so thank you to, obviously, Barker, um, who has um, been my first channel member. He was the one who actually told me about the membership scheme and told, suggested that I do it uh, and offer the different tiers to try and maybe see if people would be interested in doing a little bit of support of me as a creator. Just as a you know, thank you for all the hours of video content I provide for them to uh, consume each and every week. And I say, there's a couple of tiers on there. There is. Even for people that don't necessarily have much expendable income, there are still options there that you can sign up for and forget about. <laughs> I think that was the way Barker put it. You know, people aren't going to miss a quid or some people aren't going to miss 250 or something like that. Um a month so there's certainly enough subscribers on the channel um, that if everybody chipped in a little bit it could make massive massive changes to my life going forward and help me produce better content going forward definitely because everything that gets donated either via YouTube memberships the ad revenue on YouTube, big subscriptions and stuff like that. Everything that I've received in that all goes back into the equipment. I'm trying to get new and better equipment for me to play and record on. So I can bring you better videos. <laughs> but yeah, just doing obviously this nice little CD contract today whilst I just, just chill out, really. Get this done. October, first day of October. Six days ahead of us. I'm just going to try and do some contracts, earn some money. when we hit the um, obviously the, the silage, when we sell the silage is when we're going to see hopefully a big jump in income and that'll be in a day and a half me loading up all those bales onto my bale trailer <laughs> using my telly handler That's a good point. I think we've got bale spikes, haven't we? we? Yeah, I've got bale spikes back at the farm, which I can use for picking up the bale. I'm just wondering if I should have maybe invested in some um, in a bale grabber, an actual claw, bale claw thing. A little bit of constraint because I, I can't lift I can't lift the cedar when I have the cedar selected. I can't raise and lower that I have I have to have the cultivator selected. I do to be able to lift it up, turn around, but then as soon as I lift it up 
and as soon as I lower it down I get that you do not have access message again mm. might have to disconnect the power harrow from the cedar going forward and actually run them as separate machines rather than in this combined setup might make things a little bit better for me but yeah linseed brock i really remember doing that on calmston lovely little purple flower grows pretty quickly from what i remember and you harvest it with obviously traditional harvester um, yeah get this field finished there's six grand or so in the bank and we'll see what other other jobs there is to do like i say really it's a case of just middling about in october um, because there's not terribly a lot else to do Although I could go and check that other bit of grass that I've got access to and see if it is a grass field on my farm. See whether I can mow that and get it all raked up and wrapped up. Right then, folks, leave this with me. And then at the beginning of the next video, I will show you the contract completion and collecting the payment for it. And then we'll um, see what we're going to do on the next episode of Court Barns. Again, I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit short and sweet, especially at this moment in the series where it's not really a lot to tell you. <laughs> I don't want to... Uh, keep you occupied for too long with boring stuff me just driving up and down fields we'll come back hopefully very soon so thank you for watching today's video ladies and gents hope you've enjoyed it i will see you in the next episode in a couple of days time but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you when i see you